Now, by heating up the piece of plastic, right, we were able to put it into this block and then we were able to fold it because it became soft and you were able to fold it down into a shape. There were two different sizes or two different lengths that you were going to use. The bottom or the base piece was the longest and then the top section is a much shorter and it goes into the shorter slot. So you would have pushed that down in here and you bent it at an angle, 45 degrees. You didn't bend it all the way flat. Now, some of you are gonna be working on that today. That would be your first job to do if you didn't get to that stage. If you have this finished, or if you're waiting to get your go on the strip heater, you can be polishing the sides and edges of the piece of acrylic. To do that, we use a bit of the emery paper. You set it on the table, you put your piece flat on the side, and you simply rub it along. Try to use all areas of the paper, and you've got to make sure that all of the little scrapes and scratches are off it. Now, I won't be able to show you that on the camera. I won't pick it up, but you'll see it with your eye when you look at it closely. So you do it all the way around. It's difficult on the corners where you have a little round section where you've maybe rounded that with the file. So notice that when I'm doing this, you've got to go back and forward, back and forward, and very slowly rotate around the corner. And you keep going back and forward the whole way around. Now we can't polish this on the machine, so we have to do a lot of this by hand. When you give it the final go, you need to wet the paper. So wet the paper under the sink. You put it down onto the table again, and then you're ready to do the final go. And again, the flat bit's easier. And you have to do the whole shape, you have to do this middle bit, and then you have to do the bottom bit as well. And then to do the edges, you start off and you slowly rotate it. And you keep going backwards and forwards and you slowly rotate it because there's a curved shape on that corner. So you can be working into that to finish all of your shape. Now, I will be calling you up table by table and you will be picking a colour for the bottom or the base of your piece. You will then come to the CNC machine and I will ask you what name you want to put on to it. So this says what? Harry. Harry, who's Harry? Harry's my dog. He's not gonna be able to use a hand fan, but it was the one name that I thought of whenever I was doing this. So you can put your name on this. I will engrave it on the piece of plastic you will then be able to take that piece of plastic. You can take your finished stand. You will have your name on it. And then you will draw around because this, this has to stick down onto the surface. So you're going to need to draw around where it's going to go. Pick a place in the middle. Your name is going to be engraved in this space here. And then what you have to decide is, are you going to put any shape onto this. So one thing you definitely have to do because we have been doing it to date is to round these corners off and then you can decide whether you want to put a taper or a curve. Maybe you're going to put a nice curved shape onto this or maybe you're going to get a straight edge a ruler and you're going to just simply mark off a line from front to back and you're going to remove that section there. So you can see there's two options that you can consider for your design. Now it's important to watch the screen because you need to see this just to make sure that you understand what I'm doing. Now I'm going to show you how to do this curved bit with a half round file. And it'll only take me a minute or two to shape this out. So you're going to need to put it into the vise. Now, if you hold it too far up, that can wobble. If it can wobble, that means that it can break. So I need to put it down as low as possible into the vise and I close it. And then you may have been using a file like this. These are flat files or square edge, right? Because they have right angle corners on them. You're going to need to look for a half round file. So I'll just get it out of the box here.
Now, you notice the difference in the shape. As I turn that over, you can see there's a curved edge on the file. And if I hold it in like this, you'd probably get a better view of that. So I can use this to file the edge. So I want to concentrate on the middle because the middle bit is where most of the material is being removed. Always hold the file at the front and you hold the back by the handle. Notice I'm working from the middle out to one side, back into the middle, from the middle out to the side, and back into the middle. So all the time, I'm re removing material off the middle of the shape. And you can see now where I've started to get rid of that plastic. So I have a bit more to get rid of down this side here. Go down lower, it's too high if it's squeaking. Now, take your time, right? I'm rushing this just so you can get time into the workshop. But I want you to take your time. You'll see there that I'm fairly close to the line now. So that process that I was using there is called cross filing, where I'm moving across the piece. To finish it, what I have to do is to draw a file. So I'm gonna rub the file along the piece. And I'm doing that to get rid of all of the scratches that I made on the surface of the piece of acrylic. Now you have to do that really slowly and carefully to get all of those marks off. And only then when you're finished that, you can take the paper. Because it's a curved shape, I can't put the material down flat. I have to use it like this. You could use the file and you could put the paper in the side of the file and you could use it to rub, which would maybe be easier than using your fingers. And you can try to finish that edge and I've ended up with a curved shape. So,